everyone. How are you? Welcome to today's episode of Life After Graduation. My name is Jessica. I'm the Social Media and Community Manager here at University of the People. And I here, am here with Mary Lean. Hi, Mary Lean. How are you? Hi, Jessica. I'm well. Thank you. Good. Mary Lean, where are you? Where in the world are you? I am uh, living in South Africa in Cape Town. Okay, amazing. Some place I've always wanted to visit. I heard it's really beautiful. Um, we'll give people a few minutes to log to sign on, but I see Suzanne. Thank you so much for joining, Suzanne. You're a regular and I'm Raul. Hello, hello. And oh I'll have um, I'm sorry if you're a regular too, but I can't say your name because I'm butchering it. But in Keith and someone in another language, hi, hi, hi. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. As I said, my name is Jessica and I'm the social media and community manager here at University of the People. And if you've tuned into our live events before, you probably have seen me. If not, welcome. Thank you so much. I just want to say thank you so much to our viewers. Every week I see more and more people tuning in. So that means to me that you're sharing our live events, and I'm so grateful for that. So keep spreading the word about UO people. Keep sharing the, the live events. It's really, really really helpful in spreading our mission. Um, I'll go into our mission in a minute, but um, thank you. I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. And why don't our applicants say where you're from and our students say what you're studying so we can differentiate. Um, I believe we're in the fifth week at UO People, um, which is super exciting. And I can't believe how fast this term is going. Um, so, I think we'll probably talk a little bit about coronavirus because as Marilene's from South Africa, I, I understand that the restrictions are, are back up. Um, so we'll talk about that. But um, I just want to let you guys know that at UO People, nothing has changed due to coronavirus. Everything is the same due to our cutting edge technology, our instructors, staff. Um, everyone's working, volunteers, everyone's working around the clock to make sure that, um, you know, you're still able to get, a, you know, a quality education at UO People. Um, so in this time of uncertainty, I just want to let you know that UO People is here for you. Um, so guys, I encourage you to ask questions during this event. Um, you can, if we don't answer the question, I will respond um, after to you. Uh, we'll send you a message or we'll, we'll respond to the link. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. This is Life After Graduation. Before we go into the interview, I just want to say a few things about UO people. For those who maybe don't know, um, we are tuition free. We do not, we never ask for yearly tuition. So we just ask for small minimal fees to keep us um, sustainable. Uh, we are 100% online, so you can study anytime, anywhere. It's a really great advantage. Um, we, we have a very strong academic leadership team from the top universities around the world, such as uh, Princeton, NYU, University of Edinburgh, UC Berkeley, the list goes on and on and on, but we're really proud of our uh, academic leadership team. Um, and we have over 36,000 students studying us from over 200 countries and territories. And because there's so many students studying with us from all over the world, not all of them are proficient in English, but that's okay, not to worry. Uh, we do offer an English composition course to catch you up to speed. So that's about University of the People. So as I mentioned, uh, this episode is about life after graduation. We have so many uh, graduates of UO people, and I love finding you guys. So that's my dog. He just wants to be part of the live. Giddy, I'm in a live event. It's so rude. Um, seriously. Okay. So um, as I said, we have. What can you do? It's like a baby. You can't tell a baby to stop crying. All right. Okay. So anyways, uh, we have, uh, you know, we have, um, we have graduates from all over the world and many of them have gone on to do amazing things. Um, I, we've had a bunch of videos. Uh, what, our last one was Sarah. She went on to work at Amazon. We're really proud of all of our graduates. Um, a lot of people 
go on to work for Microsoft, Dell, Deloitte, they start or expand their businesses, or they complete another degree. This is very common. A lot of people come to your people and do an associate's degree, and then they do um, like a bachelor's degree. So there's so many options. Um, all of our courses at University of People are geared towards employability. Um, our focus is to provide students with the skills they need to get a job in the field after graduation. So it's like all of the courses are designed with your future in mind, of course. Um, we also have a career service center. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but um, it gives you resume and cover letter writing like uh, tips not tips, like courses, like workshops, um, interviewing skills, job interview, listing websites, career development courses, um, and a lot of industry and career information. Uh, so you can explore different career paths based on your major. Okay, so that's about, about life after graduation on a very high level, but let's talk about Mary Lee. Okay, so this is what I want to know. First of all, Mary Lynn, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, just give a brief introduction. Um, well, I'm currently enrolled as a full-time student uh, at the School for Remote Developers um, at uh, Microvus. I don't know if you've heard of it, um, where I'm gaining experience building software projects. Uh, before that, I studied at the University of Apipo and absolutely enjoyed my experience learning there. I graduated in 2019 with a degree in computer science. Okay, so you're, so first of all, I, Emro has a question. I think this can lead us into something else. I'm going to show it on the screen. I love this okay. technology. This is cool, right, guys? You can. I feel like we're in like a news segment. Hi, Mary Lee. Do you have computer science background before? Why did you choose that program to study? Emeril, thank you so much for asking that question. I'll leave it up there for a minute. Ah, uh, yes, I have a background in com I had sorry, I had a background in computer science before in enrolling at U of People. Um, I was studying computer science previously at the University of Cape Town. Um, but um, my circumstances changed and it became very difficult to afford the tuition fees and living expenses while studying. So yeah. fortunately, I found out about your people. Okay. Um, and how did you find out about University of the People? I actually came across it uh, online, actually, that's wrong. Um, I didn't actually come across it myself. Um, my husband and family friend um, came across it um, one time when um, they were just doing a random search uh, for scholarships and then they came across the University of People online. Um, it was unbelievable. Um, yeah, <laughs> that such an opportunity was out there and uh, real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, okay, so your husband found it and how, like, maybe he saw it on Facebook or, or something like that? Yeah, um, he actually, I don't think he found it on Facebook. We were just, uh, during that time, um, we decided that uh, it would be better if um, I found um, a scholarship to carry on with my studies because, um, it was expensive to um, pay for, for myself. So um, we, we couldn't afford the school fees, actually. Um, that's when we embarked on the search for <laughs> opportunities out there and fortunately came across um, scholarships and, uh, on the internet um, at yeah. your people, uh, your people's yeah. scholarships. I think it was. Um, and I think there's a scholarship site out there online. It's a while ago, so I can't yeah. remember exactly. Of, I wanted uh, to add something. I, in the beginning, I talked about how we're tuition free, but I forgot to say that if you do need a scholarship, we do have scholarships available. I saw someone said, you're not free, you charge $60, but actually we do offer scholarships and grants. So um, if you're in a position where you want to study at UO people, but you don't think you can afford it, 
I recommend going through the application process. You can skip the payment part and you can apply for a scholarship. So that's what I recommend for if you're in that situation because um, you know, part of our mission is really that we don't want to leave anyone behind due to financial barriers. So we really work hard to include everybody. Um, I just want to say hi to Jermiko Thomas. Hi, Jermiko. Jermiko, I love your profile picture. Um, okay, so Jermiko was on, he's a, also a graduate of UO People, and I did an interview with him recently. I think maybe a month ago, and he has a great question for you. So first of all, hi, Jermiko, and thank you so much for asking Marilene this question. I'm glad you picked this school, and it's intriguing you picked computer science. So what's your goal with it in terms of the bigger picture? Thank you, Jermiko. Um, my goal is and has always been to achieve um, skills and uh, um in the field that I'm pursuing. Um, and I think you, your people helped a lot with that. Um, uh, your people provided a strong foundation um, for starting a career in this field. Um, the skills and knowledge I acquired um, were very relevant to, to the field that uh, um, I'm pursuing. Um, so I, I think um, it is I know, a, a great opportunity for anyone out there uh, to, to acquire um, a degree, uh, a university degree. Um, yeah, should go for it. <laughs> Okay, very well said, Marilyn. Thank you. Um, now let's talk about flexibility. So as I mentioned, UO People is 100% online. How did the flexibility help you in your day-to-day -day life? I think um, that is one of the greatest advantages um, of studying at UO People, the flexibility that it offers. Um, before I had to travel a uh, long distance um, from my hometown and um, even take flights to, to um, reach a university campus. Um, and then I also had to attend lectures and tutorial classes and exams in person at scheduled times um, that um, added to the stress of, of studying a, you know, a degree university. <laughs> as, um, yeah, sorry, um, that increase the stress of studying, you know, a degree program. So um, your people offered, you know, flexibility, which I greatly enjoyed and benefited from. Okay, amazing. Um, Zahir has a question. Zahir, thank you. Marilene, are you planning to work as a graphic designer or a programmer after graduation? Okay, so just to be clear, Marilene already graduated, and we'll talk about that a little bit more, but I do try to like to address some guys' questions. So what, so, okay, let's, let's, uh, thank you, Zahir. I'm going to remove this. Um, so you graduated from UO People. What, what, can you tell us again what you were up to a bit? Um, yes. Um, I have been um, working on uh, building projects um, that aim at solving uh, real life problems uh, at Microvas. Um, I um, work with um, other um, aspiring software developers around the world at Microvas. Um, to um, build uh, projects that we can share in our portfolio um, to potential employers. <laughs> okay, so um, what, can you tell us what my, my, what's it called, Microvice? Yes. Um, what, what exactly is in it? Is it a global thing or is it just in South Africa? It's it's um, a global thing as well. It's um, founded, I think, by an American. Um, it's global, and um, there is aspiring developers working together, collaborating on projects um, 
all over the world. Um, so um, that, that's what I'm doing at the moment. Okay, amazing. And it sounds like it's a really great networking opportunity. You guys, if you are a computer really yeah, if you're in computer science, maybe this is very basic. And because I'm not a computer science person, I don't know, but check out Microvice. Um, it sounds like a really great networking opportunity. And uh, Mary Lean's getting a lot of, um, a lot of uh, experience and knowledge. Oh, you're getting a lot of questions, I have to say. Um, okay, there is another question about, did you go to University of Cape Town? Did you, somebody's asking about University of Cape Town. Did you get credit from the University of Cape Town? Yes, I yeah, got that's, credits. I'm Yes, uh, at first they weren't accepting credits from other universities at your people, but eventually um, that was sorted out and I was able to acquire credits for some of the courses that I had previously completed right. from University of Cape Town. Okay, cool. So they transferred. Um, and she all, tell, tell come, tell come, um also asks how many courses did you do a term? Um, I was, it depended on, on my circumstances. Um, so if I was busy, I could take one course um, uh, during a time, or if I had more time, I'd do uh, two courses or even three if I thought I could handle. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, oh my goodness, you guys, so many questions. I really appreciate it. Pedro. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. Hey, Pedro. Hi, Jessica, Marlene. Marlene, do you think you are having better opportunities right now after graduation? I think so. I definitely <laughs> think so. I think um, studying at uh, University of Paper provided a really strong <laughs> academic foundation for me. Um, uh, which uh, helped me to, to have the skills and knowledge that you know, I needed to uh, jumpstart my career as a developer. Um, I think I would not have got my first job as a junior developer, for example, if I didn't have my associate's degree from University of People. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I hear that a lot. Um, I'm wondering about you mentioned that you had some financial challenges before you um, that led you to University of the People. Did you have? Were there any other barriers that prevented you in the past from getting a higher education? Uh, I think these days, especially um, <laughs> studying a university degree at an on-site campus is normally very expensive it was the same case for me it was very expensive for my family to continue to pay for tuition fees um at an on-site campus so fortunately um i found out about university of people and that helped me to carry on with my university education okay um, yeah, so we hear that a lot. A lot of people, that's why they find University of the People. Um, I have, okay, Nadine. Hi, Nadine. Nadine's a regular. Marilene, how did you study Java? I'm struggling it, with it. Any tips on Java? Just so you guys know, I have no idea what Java is, but I'm guessing it's a course. Um, I'm not very technical. <laughs> Any tips on Java CS 1102? Uh yeah, I think uh, these things are hard when you're starting out. Um, it's always um, hardest, I think, at the start you know, of your career as a developer, uh, when you're learning new programming languages like Java and C and yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of them out there. Uh, but what I would advise you is, um, to keep going and um, just keep going. It's actually hard for everyone starting out. <laughs> yeah. um, the, the beginning is normally the hardest, um, but you must just carry on. Um, you must try to um, 
you know, read as much as possible and don't beat yourself up if you don't understand everything all at once. Um, just <laughs> keep trying to to learn. Um, eventually, it will pay off. Yeah, that's those are good tips. Now, this is why I love University of the People so much. I'm going to show this comment from Precious. How? Oh wait. Hang on, that wasn't the comment. Precious, you're all over the comments. Okay, here it is. Precious says, hey, Nadine, let's connect. I'm also studying computer science first year right now. So I'm showing you guys that comment because this is very cool. Like people at university, people, although we are online, people do connect. Maybe, Mary Lee, you can talk about your experience about studying at UO people maybe what it was like studying online did you meet people maybe you could tell us a little bit yeah um i had a great time learning at university of people um aside from being relieved of our academic pressure and having the flexibility um of being able to study anywhere or at any time your people uh, had a very um, comprehensive and relevant curriculum um, so um, I got the skills and knowledge I needed to acquire in order to uh, be employable um, after graduation. Um, I also got to meet a lot of great people at your people. Um, everyone I met at your people, honestly speaking, was kind and nice and always supportive. The lecturers were very friendly. Uh, they were always ready to respond to emails uh, regarding questions about the curriculum. Um, it was a very good learning environment. Okay, good. Yeah, that makes me really happy. And um, did you have a lot of um, did you have a lot of uh, face? Uh, I'm sorry. Did you have a lot of interaction with your instructors and and other? Yeah. Yes, but also one of the other great advantages uh, of studying at the University of the People, I had so much interactions with um, students and um, lecturers. Um, it was a, a very interactive online learning environment. Um, you actually can't avoid it. You can't avoid that interaction. Um, <laughs> because um, you know you've got things like um, discussion assignments so um, the program is designed in such a way that you always have to interact <laughs> can't escape yeah. it <laughs> yeah that's really great to hear uh, telcom again you're all over at telcom Marlene, considering you have a graduate from UO people, do you plan to st study for a master's degree in computer science in South Africa? Um, that's a good question. I have thought about it um, at the moment, you know, um, just um, you know, uh, trying to um, ac acquire um, more skills and um, you know, uh, pursue opportunities and, and not waste opportunities that come my way. I think um, finding out about Microverse and getting enrolled there was a, a step in that direction to make sure that I build upon the great foundation that I obtained at University of the People. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to study a master's degree in future. Uh, that's not a bad idea. By the way, I already enrolled uh, for a master's in education at University of the People, although um, I'm currently on leave because of my current program at Microvas. Um, but that uh, would definitely be a great idea. I like learning. Well, good luck. Um, jo I see a message from Joan. Joan, okay, Joan, I need more info to ask this. I don't have a background in computer science. What advice would you give to me as I want, as I will re-enroll next term? I started UO people last year, but circumstances made me take a break. Okay, so I'm guessing Joan um, was enrolled at UO people. Joan, correct me if I'm wrong. You were enrolled in new people. You had to take a break. You don't have a background in computer science, but you want to study computer science. I, I think that's what you're saying. Um, what advice would you have, Marilyn? 
Um, I think um, it's fine if you have to take a break. Um, the good thing about studying at your people is that it offers flexibility. So um, you can take a break if you have to due to circumstances and then we enroll when you're able to. Um, that was never a problem for me when I was studying at UOP Per because of our flexibility. I could uh, pause studies whenever I had to and resume um, when it was possible. Okay, yeah, so that's really great, great um, insight. I think also what she's, what Joan is asking is, um, do you have to study computers? If you want to study computer science, do you need a, a prior knowledge of computer science? Oh, uh, okay. See, uh, you don't. No, you okay. you don't. Yeah, you can, um, um, you can study computer science without prior knowledge. Um, yeah. Okay. So, mm. what sort of tips do you have for students um, or graduates for advancing their career? Um, I think um, I would say um, h having hope that you can make it is very important first and foremost uh, seek opportunities to build your career um, enrolling at a great university like uh, university of people is a great way of furthering education and your career um, so yeah just go for it keep believing and go for it <laughs> Okay, great advice. I see two great questions and I'm going to show one from Suzanne. Hi, what kind of career slash jobs do you see yourself in the future? That's a great question. Uh, yeah, um, I think um, having a, a university degree um, opens up a lot of opportunities uh, for you. Um, it makes um, you uh, more employable. Um, I think uh, in my case, uh, I don't have to work in just my field of computing or uh, no. Um, yeah, uh, it doesn't have to be in IT um, or, or any other software related field. I can work in a business, I can work in education, um, I can uh, do anything that I want to do really. I, just because I have a degree in computer science doesn't mean I'm not able to, to pursue any other uh, career that I would like to pursue. It sounds like the possibilities are endless for you and I really like that outlook, it's really great. And we have another great question from Alex, who is so funny, you guys. You have to watch his YouTube channel. I always forget what it's called. Alex, you should put it on here. It's a dance YouTube channel, and he's hilarious. Um, what's, you can tell he's hilarious by his photo. What's your dream job or dream company to work for? Great question, Alex. Uh, I would say uh, there's lots of them, <laughs> honestly. Um, there's so many IT companies out there, um, so many companies that are doing great things with great company cultures. Um, so I can't really pinpoint one. Um, there's a lot of them, Microsoft, uh, Facebook. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, I don't know if you guys saw the, so the what's that movie called? The, um, the Social Network. It's an interesting movie to watch about Facebook. I recommend it. It's a little dark, but you know. but I, I'm sure it's a great company to work for. I just the the movie was a little interesting. Um, we'll keep it at that. <laughs> Did you watch that movie, Marlene? I haven't watched it yet, actually. Surprisingly, I recommend, it. I recommend watching it. I recommend everyone watch it. But it's a I really love good movies but I haven't yet watched it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Um, okay, so let's, wow, it's, you know, you guys, you're really asking a lot of 
questions. I love it. Thank you so much. I'm going to ask one final question because I don't want to take too much up of your time. Um, I usually try to keep these about half an hour because I think, um, you know, we're all busy and I don't want to take up too much of your time, Marilyn. But my, so there is an app, there's an early admissions deadline coming up on um, not this Thursday, but next Thursday, July 23rd. Um, so guys, I forgot to mention in the there's a, in the description of this event there's <clears throat> there's a link to um, to apply. But anyways, to save your spot. But my question for you is what um, if, since it is the early admissions deadline, what would you say to people out there about UO people and if it's right for them? Sorry. Okay, so. I said the thing about the early admissions deadline is coming up, so people are applying to you, old people, yada, yada. Um, <laughs> that was my professional speaking. Um, okay, so my question is, what advice would you give to people who are maybe not sure if studying online at University of the People is for them? Um, yeah, I think, um, no. That's a, a, a good point. Um, it, it's uh, not easy sometimes to tell if um, an institution is a match for you. Uh, so um, I would advise them to uh, think about it, consult with friends, um, ask questions like they're doing. <laughs> um, in my case, I found your paper uh, to be a very great study experience. I can only share my experience. Um, it worked for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I enjoyed the flexibility offered by your people. Um, I enjoyed the support system. Um, the fees were so much more affordable. Um, so uh, I think in terms of advantages, there are, are huge advantages um, in uh, studying at University of People, especially during a, a time like this <laughs> when um, yeah. there was travel restrictions. And um, yeah, um, I think um, they should probably try it out. Um, give it a chance and see if it works for them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, that's really good advice. I'm really happy you um, you decided to speak with us today. I know we've been scheduling, rescheduling, which is my, completely my fault. I apologize, but I'm so happy we finally had this um, interview. It's fine. Happen. I want to show Alex's YouTube channel, Dance for the Endorphins. So after you watch this interview, you can hop on to Alex's YouTube channel, Dance for the Endorphins, especially if you're in some sort of lockdown or you know you can't really leave the house he has a ton of really great videos on there for you to dance to release move your body a little bit um don't get stuck in the house too much um so you guys really great questions really great comments i really appreciate all of it mylene you are a superstar thank you so much for tuning or for joining me today i really appreciate it it's um, a pleasure thanks for having me yeah thank you and to everybody who tuned in thank you so much i really appreciate it um it's really nice to have you here um don't forget that if you haven't saved your spot with your people yet you have until a week from Thursday, which is the early admissions deadline. Um, next week, we have more live events, so tune in. Um, if you guys are interested in doing live events, let me know. We're always looking for more students, more stories to share, more tips, whatever it may be. Um, this is a very collaborative community, and I really, really love being a part of it. Um, so thank you guys, everyone, so much. Um, and connect with each other. I encourage you guys to connect with each other, network, you know, connect. These are really, really uncertain times and things are going um, more and more online. So it's a really great time to connect with people all over the world. And you know, there's remote jobs. You never know if you're unemployed, you might be able to get a remote job. You don't know. Um, I know, actually, I wanna share, I'll share it in the next day or two on social media. We do have, um, we have a blog and we have a list about remote jobs. 
So I'll try to find it and post it um, on there. So look out for that. So if you guys don't already follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, please do. I'm really, really trying to spread awareness of your people. And, and I really create, I post content that I feel will be relevant for you guys. So your feedback is also much appreciated. So anyways, that's all I got for today, guys. Have a wonderful day. Um, I feel like I just rambled for a bit, but that's okay. It's a, as per usual. Um, okay, so Marlene, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. And thank you, everyone, and have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.